これからリスニングテストを始めますこの試験では聞き取る英語は2回流します質問文と選択肢は音声ではなくすべて問題冊子に印刷されています問題を回答するごとに回答用紙にマークしてください問題冊子に記入しておいて回答時間の途中や最後にまとめて回答用紙にマークしてはいけませんなお聞き取る英語の後に音声の流れていない時間がありますそれが回答をマークする時間です音声が流れていなくても赤いランプが今のようについていれば故障ではありませんでは始めます4ページを開いてください第1問第1問は問い1から問い6までの6問ですそれぞれの問いについて対話を聞き答えとして最も適切なものを4つの選択肢1から4のうちから1つずつ選びなさい Question number one. Why are you talking so loudly? I'm practicing my part for the drama festival. Okay. Can you finish by nine? I want to go to bed early. Sure. Listen again. Why are you talking so loudly? I'm practicing my part for the drama festival. Okay. Can you finish by nine? I want to go to bed early. Sure. Question number two. Hey, you're not wearing glasses. I got contact lenses. Oh, and you've got a mustache now. Actually, I want to grow a beard too. Listen again. Hey, you're not wearing glasses. I got contact lenses. Oh, and you've got a mustache now. Actually, I want to grow a beard too. Question number three Can I use my credit card? I'm sorry, but we only accept cash. Okay, I'll go to an ATM. Is there one nearby? Yes, you can find one next to the payphones outside. Listen again. Can I use my credit card? I'm sorry, but we only accept cash. Okay, I'll go to an ATM. Is there one nearby? Yes, you can find one next to the payphones outside. Question number four. How's the new park? It's nice because it has swings, a slide, and a seesaw for kids. Really? Can we play sports there too? Well, it has two tennis courts. Listen again. How's the new park? It's nice. Because it has swings, a slide, and a seesaw for kids. Really? Can we play sports there too? Well, it has two tennis courts. Question number five We'd like to rent a van next Saturday. Sure, we have some available. We have 18 people. Is one van enough? Well, each van carries up to 12. Listen again. We'd like to rent a van next Saturday. Sure, we have some available. We have 18 people. Is one van enough? Well, each van carries up to 12. Question number six I'm afraid we might be lost. Doesn't Ken live across from a school and a bank? Well, I see a school and a hospital. Yes, and a post office, but no bank.
Listen again. I'm afraid we might be lost. Doesn't Ken live across from a school and a bank? Well, I see a school and a hospital. Yes, and a post office, but no bank. これで第一問は終わりです。八ページを開いてください。第二問。第二問は問い七から問い十三までの七問です。それぞれの問いについて対話を聞き、最後の発言に対する相手の応答として、最も適切なものを四つの選択肢、一から四のうちから一つずつ選びなさい。では、始めます。Question number seven. Look at that. Relax, it's just a spider. Yeah, but look at the size of it. Listen again. Look at that. Relax, it's just a spider. Yeah, but look at the size of it. Question number eight. The coffee maker is broken. Can we get it fixed? That would cost more than getting a new one. Listen again. The coffee maker is broken. Can we get it fixed? That would cost more than getting a new one. Question number nine. Time for my favorite TV show. Come on, dinner is ready. Oh, but I really don't want to miss it. Listen again. Time for my favorite TV show. Come on, dinner is ready. Oh, but I really don't want to miss it. Question number ten. I spent last summer traveling in Mexico. Why did you decide to go to Mexico? Well, it's cheap there, and I love sunshine. Listen again. I spent last summer traveling in Mexico. Why did you decide to go to Mexico? Well, it's cheap there, and I love sunshine. Question number eleven. We're here. Let's get something to eat. I've been driving for ten hours. I need to take a nap. But I'm really hungry. Listen again. We're here. Let's get something to eat. I've been driving for ten hours. I need to take a nap. But I'm really hungry. Question number twelve. Press down the button and hold it for five seconds to restart the machine. Okay. Nothing's happening. You have to press and hold. Listen again. Press down the button and hold it for five seconds to restart the machine. Okay. Nothing's happening. You have to press and hold. Question number thirteen. My daughter started university in April. Oh, 
how's she doing so far? Well, she has good days and bad days. Listen again. My daughter started university in April. Oh, how's she doing so far? Well, she has good days and bad days. これで第2問は終わりです。10ページを開いてください。第3問。第3問は A と B の2つの部分に分かれています。第3問 A は問い14から問い16までの3問です。それぞれの問いについて対話を聞き、答えとして最も適切なものを4つの選択肢、1から4のうちから1つずつ選びなさい。では始めます。Question number fourteen. What's wrong, Mary? I have a terrible cold. Today my doctor told me to stay in bed for a few days and see her again if I'm still sick. So you won't be going to school tomorrow. Do you want me to turn in your homework for you? That'd be great. Listen again. What's wrong, Mary? I have a terrible cold. Today, my doctor told me to stay in bed for a few days and see her again if I'm still sick. So, you won't be going to school tomorrow. Do you want me to turn in your homework for you? That'd be great. Question number 15. How do you think this brown coat looks on me? It's cute. You look like a teddy bear. That's it. I'm not going to get this coat. Why not? I said you look cute. You said I look like a teddy bear. What's wrong with that? Never mind. Listen again. How do you think this brown coat looks on me? It's cute. You look like a teddy bear. That's it. I'm not going to get this coat. Why not? I said you look cute. You said I look like a teddy bear. What's wrong with that? Never mind. Question number 16. There's a new type of light bulb for sale that lasts almost forever. You mean you don't need to replace it so often? That's right. Wow, I should get some. Yeah, but you still have to be careful not to break them because they contain poisonous material. I'll keep that in mind. Listen again. There's a new type of light bulb for sale that lasts almost forever. You mean you don't need to replace it so often? That's right. Wow, I should get some. Yeah, but you still have to be careful not to break them because they contain poisonous material. I'll keep that in mind. これで第三問 A は終わりです。11ページを見てください第3問 B は問い17から問い19までの3問です長めの対話を一つ聞き問いに対する答えとして最も適切なものを6つの選択肢1から6のうちから1つずつ選びなさい対話の場面と問いが問題冊子に書かれているので今読みなさい Questions number seventeen to nineteen. 
I'm interested in reading trends in the U.S. Here's a table showing the changing number of American readers between 2002 and 2008. Hmm, interesting. There was an overall increase of 7%. That's right. The number of readers increased in most age groups. Only readers between the ages of 45 and 54 decreased in number by 3%. I wonder why. It's hard to explain because readers near that age group increased. Those aged 35 to 44 increased by 9%, as did people in their late 50s to early 60s. I noticed my grandmother started reading for pleasure after she retired. I'm not surprised. The elderly aged 75 and older showed the second largest increase of 15%. What about young people? They tend to read books on the internet. That explains why people in their late teens and early 20s showed the largest increase 21%. That's helpful information. Thanks. Listen again. I'm interested in reading trends in the U.S. Here's a table showing the changing number of American readers between 2002 and 2008. Hmm, interesting. There was an overall increase of 7%. That's right. The number of readers increased in most age groups. Only readers between the ages of 45 and 54 decreased in number by 3%. I wonder why. It's hard to explain because readers near that age group increased. Those aged 35 to 44 increased by 9%, as did people in their late 50s to early 60s. I noticed my grandmother started reading for pleasure after she retired. I'm not surprised. The elderly aged 75 and older showed the second largest increase of 15%. What about young people? They tend to read books on the internet. That explains why people in their late teens and early 20s showed the largest increase 21%. That's helpful information. Thanks. これで第三問 B は終わりです。十二ページを開いてください。第4問第4問も A と B の2つの部分に分かれています第4問 A は問い20から問い22までの3問ですそれぞれの問いについて英語を聞き答えとして最も適切なものを4つの選択肢1から4のうちから1つずつ選びなさいでは始めます Question number 20. Our airline welcomes children. More than 45,000 unaccompanied children fly with us each year. Whether it's a short flight or a long journey, your child will enjoy a safe and comfortable trip. Here's some important information Children aged five and above may travel alone on flights. Children under five must be accompanied by someone aged 17 or older. When your child is traveling alone, please call our reservations desk. We will give you more details about services for young passengers. Listen again. Our airline welcomes children. More than 45,000 unaccompanied children fly with us each year. Whether it's a short flight or a long journey, your child will enjoy a safe and comfortable trip. Here's some important information Children aged five and above may travel alone on flights. Children under five must be accompanied by someone aged 17 or older. When your child is traveling alone, Please call our reservations desk. We will give you more details about services for young passengers.
Question number 21. Tonight's story on Pets in the News is about a cat that traveled halfway around the world with a shipment of cotton from Egypt. When the ship arrived in Seattle, a worker found a cat that had been trapped among the containers for nearly a month. The cat was taken to an animal shelter where her physical condition was checked. People were amazed the cat survived so long. Interestingly, the ship, which had previously had a rat problem, was now free of rats. Listen again. Tonight's story on Pets in the News is about a cat that traveled halfway around the world with a shipment of cotton from Egypt. When the ship arrived in Seattle, a worker found a cat that had been trapped among the containers for nearly a month. The cat was taken to an animal shelter where her physical condition was checked. People were amazed the cat survived so long. Interestingly, the ship, which had previously had a rat problem, was now free of rats. Question number 22. As a professional photographer, I would like to give you some suggestions for successful landscape photography. In winter, for example, when the days are short, you need to know where you're going and what you want to photograph. You can get familiar with the area you're planning to visit by reading guidebooks and studying maps. Then, you'll know beforehand where the most attractive locations are, rather than leaving it to chance. At the location, you may need to get off the main path, so you should be careful. To take a good photo, it may be necessary to be in freezing conditions, which might be dangerous. Listen again. As a professional photographer, I would like to give you some suggestions for successful landscape photography. In winter, for example, when the days are short, you need to know where you're going and what you want to photograph. You can get familiar with the area you're planning to visit by reading guidebooks and studying maps. Then, you'll know beforehand where the most attractive locations are, rather than leaving it to chance. At the location, you may need to get off the main path, so you should be careful. To take a good photo, it may be necessary to be in freezing conditions, which might be dangerous. これで第四問 A は終わりです。十三ページを見てください。第四問 B は。問い二十三から問い二十五までの三問です。これから流れる英語を聞き、それぞれの問いの答えとして、最も適切なものを四つの選択肢、一から四のうちから一つずつ選びなさい。では、始めます。Questions number to Many of the world's best loved symphonies are known by popular nicknames. Given by the general public or music publishers rather than by their composers. A number of Haydn symphonies have nicknames, such as the Surprise Symphony, the Military Symphony, and the Clock Symphony. Another example of this type is the Farewell Symphony, in which the musicians leave the stage one by one as they finish playing. Eventually, the two violinists who are left. Put down their instruments and walk away from the stage in silence. This ends the performance. The story behind this piece is that the prince for whom Haydn worked 
had taken all of the musicians to his second palace in the countryside, where he liked to go hunting. The musicians found the weather and working conditions at this place to be very unpleasant. Moreover, they missed their families and the simple comforts of home. When the farewell symphony was first performed at the country palace, the prince understood the message of Haydn's music at once. The next day, he ordered that his entire household return to the city so they could be with their families in time for Christmas. Listen again. Many of the world's best-loved symphonies are known by popular nicknames given by the general public or music publishers rather than by their composers. A number of Haydn symphonies have nicknames, such as the Surprise Symphony, the Military Symphony, and the Clock Symphony. Another example of this type is the Farewell Symphony, in which the musicians leave the stage one by one as they finish playing. Eventually, the two violinists who are left put down their instruments and walk away from the stage in silence. This ends the performance. The story behind this piece is that the prince, for whom Haydn worked, had taken all of the musicians to his second palace in the countryside, where he liked to go hunting. The musicians found the weather and working conditions at this place to be very unpleasant. Moreover, they missed their families and the simple comforts of home. When the farewell symphony was first performed at the country palace, the prince understood the message of Haydn's music at once. The next day, he ordered that his entire household return to the city so they could be with their families in time for Christmas. これで問題を聞く部分はすべて終わりです。この後は監督者の回答をやめの指示があるまで回答を続けることができます。これからイヤホンを外してもらいます。その時にイヤホンが机に当たって音を立てないよう注意してください。ではイヤホンを耳から外し静かに机の上に置いてください。